A pot roast in under 50 minutes? Can you believe it? Dan here with Grits and Glamour again, y'all. The Instant Pot. The best kitchen appliance that I've ever purchased in my entire life. You can even make yogurt in this thing. So I'm about to show you how to make a beef pot roast in under 50 minutes. So I got this nice little beef roast here. Great price on it. Uh, trim a lot of the fat off here because we're not going to need that in our pressure cooker. I'm taking some coconut oil. And if you have coconut oil and it's really hard, I scoop some out and put it in a little plastic cup and put it on defrost in the microwave for three minutes. You can just rub it in there. Get every side here. Get rubbed in real good there. See, against the cold meat, it gets pretty uh, hard, but it'll work. So now, we'll put some uh, just regular coarse kosher salt here and rub that on there. Really, you have to start scratching while I'm doing this. They don't want to hear that. Jake's got some allergies going on, y'all. Don't quite know what it is. He's on grain-free dog food and everything. Coarse black pepper. And of course, you know I have to add my Cajun seasoning. That is called Bon Caca. This is my number two Cajun seasoning that I go to. This, is have a, this has quite a bit more kick to it than my Tony Saturies that I use. Bon Caca, that translates to the SH exclamation mark T. This is a family show, so we got to keep it clean. And let me tell you, it is the SH exclamation mark T. And put some of that on there. Meanwhile, I've got my cast iron skillet heating up. And if you can't find this where you're at, I'll put a link in the description for an Amazon link that you can order from. My sister sent me two of these two of these bottles about a year ago and I think I'm down to about half of the second one. This this stuff goes great on pretty much anything. Seriously, you gotta try it. Ready to... What we're gonna do is put that in a cast iron skillet and sear every side of it. Keep the juices in. got two tablespoons of olive oil in my cast iron pan and when you start to see that little ring right there it means it's hot enough and kind of I don't know if you can see it on the camera but it kind of separates there drop that sucker in there make sure you have it on high all right now we're going to flip this to the other side here make sure you have a nice sear on that 
sear that side, and then what we're going to do is sear every side of this. Now we're going to put our seared roast in the instant pot. We're adding three stalks of chopped celery and one half sliced yellow onion. Put that in there like that. One and a half cups of beef stock, beef broth, whatever you want to call it. Two cloves of minced garlic. I like to kind of put that, spread it out on the top there like that. One tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley. Sprinkle that on the top. And to finish it off, one sprig of rosemary right on the top there. And we're going to close this lid. You do not want to put your vegetables in now because they will absolutely be mush. So what we're going to do, we're going to set this to manual for 40 minutes. And after 40 minutes, then we're going to add our vegetables for 10 more minutes. Okay, the timer just went off. Do not release the quick release valve here. What we're going to do, we're going to let that slowly release on its own. It usually takes uh, anywhere between 8 and 10 minutes. Then we're going to add our vegetables. Okay, we're at the 10 minute mark. Our pressure valve has not dropped yet, so we're going to release just a little bit of pressure here. It doesn't take much. Turn it that way. Almost there we go. All right, let's see what we got here. Woo, doggy. Huh. <laughs> I don't think you can see that. Let me wipe the camera off here real quick. If you could smell the goodness coming out of this instant pot right now, you'd be salivating like a possum on a garbage can. So what we're going to do, half a bag, half a one pound bag of baby carrots. Is there such a thing as a baby carrot? Do they just harvest them prematurely? I don't know. I've chopped, I've quartered five medium-sized russet potatoes. Put those in there. And I can't forget my cabbage. I think this was like a... I'm using half a head of cabbage. This was, I believe, a little over a pound. So we'll just call it about a half a pound of cabbage. We're going to put that in there like that. And close this lid back up. Lock it down. Turn your valve to the back. Now we're going to set this on manual one more time. See if I can get this for you. We're going to hit cancel, manual, we're going to do about eight minutes. It 
and hit the start button. Well, you don't have to hit the start button. It'll start on its own. So let's see what we're left with. All right, we are almost done. I have manually released the pressure. What we're gonna do next, take your Instapot lid and it sticks right on there like that. Now we're gonna remove all our vegetables, our onions, and our celery. And then we're gonna make gravy. Look at all that goodness there. So we removed all our vegetables, our roast and everything out of the Instant Pot. We're gonna pan over here. You're gonna take the Instant Pot, you're gonna turn it to saute. Now I've dissolved three tablespoons of cornstarch into a half a cup of warm water. Once this starts to boil, we're going to slowly stir in, stir in our cornstarch mixture to thicken it up. Alright, that's starting to boil there, so like I said, you're going to slowly mix your cornstarch in there and whisk. And just slowly keep adding it, your mixture until you get the desired thickness. We're probably going to use about half of this. Just keep whisking away. There you have it, folks. There is our Instant Pot Beef Roast. Now, something I did not mention was this is a two and a half pound beef shoulder roast. So if you have anything larger than that, you're going to have to adjust your cooking time. One other thing is I lied a little bit. It did not take 50 minutes. I did not account for the time that it took for the Instant Pot to come up to pressure. So it took me about one hour and 15 minutes to complete this meal. But where else are you going to have a juicy pot roast like this in an hour and 15 minutes? Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe for future content. And as we say in Louisiana, bon appetit.